Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my update for Throwback 30. There's lots of cats behind me. I think Marley is jealous that Milo's playing with his favorite toy. This is a Fantastic Ladies Club project and it was created by Jessica. And this project started back in July and it's basically a project where we have 30 prompts. We start out with 30 prompts. And they are prompts that are older or potentially current, like currently running projects in the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group. So the whole concept behind it was Jessica was like, I can't participate in all the projects. So Jessica has 30 prompts that are related to different projects that were created in the Fantastic Ladies Club Facebook group. What's going on guys? Prior to today's update, I had met my goal or finished seven items. So I was working on 23 prompts, items, products. <laughs> and I have five that I can roll out today. I am so excited about that. So there, there's 30 items in this project. Like I'm just happy to be able to roll out five in one month. So I have my phone here because there are descriptions for the prompts. So let me share with you the items that I finished. The first project prompt that I met a goal on is for fall for you. And this is a project where you just pick items that you are in love with. So I brought in the flower beauty petal pout lip color in the shade spiced petal. So it's this one here. My goal was to use a quarter of the bullet and I did today was actually my last use. So here's the shade. It's so gorgeous. It's just a really great neutral pinky shade. I really do love this. I actually have it mixed with another item in this project, which I'll share with you in a little bit. But yeah, go on this met. Hmm. The next project prompt is Once Upon a Time. And for this project, you picked a person and I picked Henry Mills. The prompt for that was a product you can't live without. So one of the things I cannot live without is concealer. And I finished a concealer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It's the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in Light Neutral. Of course, I've had this for a while. Urban Decay doesn't even make this anymore. But, and it's broken. Like the, I, it was broken before but then it like fell off my vanity and hit something funky and it like snapped off 100%. But yeah, so this is 100% finished as you can see. There's nothing else I can get in there. I even took out the stopper. Done. A concealer out of my collection. Very exciting. So the next project prompt for an item I am able to roll out is Wizard of Panning. And that is uh, a project where you uh, we're able to pick a person from the Wizard of Oz or um, a character and there was a prompt that went with it. So I chose Toto, something you absolutely love. So I brought in a lip product and this is by Bite Beauty. It is the Matte Creme Lip Crayon in Pastille and you guys, I finished it. My goal was to finish it and it's done. I cannot roll it up anymore. I finished another lip product. So excited to be able to roll this out. <laughs> so exciting, right Ziggy? So exciting. Okay, the next project prompt is turn and burn. And the way that I chose my item for this is I just went into Wheel of Names, which is where I have all of my deluxe sized beauty and skincare minis which is how I do turn and burn as I work on those items. And I just did random random generator and I got this item and I finished it. This is the Bath and Body Works shower gel in warm vanilla sugar. And I took this with me on my trip to Hawaii. This is great. I forgot how much, how much I love the way this scent smells. Oh my God, it's so good. I don't think it has scent notes on here but this is a great scent. And I don't even know that I would save this only for fall. I think this is great all, all throughout the year. Oh, it's cozy, sensual, really did enjoy it. Okay, the last project prompt, oh wait, I have six items I can roll out. Not five, six. 
Huh. The next project prompt is Winnie the Pan. And for that, you picked a character and there was a prompt associated with it. And I chose Pooh. And um, he likes honey. So I brought in the Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. So it's this mask here. My goal was to use half. And so I am currently here. And I started all the way up here, as you can see. So I'm down here and I'm, I'm right at the halfway point of like this portion of the jar. So let me actually mark this. So that's where I am. And so I did meet my goal of using half of this jar. I am going to continue to keep this in my masking area because this is one of the few hydrating masks that I have that I am currently using and I love this stuff. I love it. So anyway, but this can roll out of this project. And the last project prompt for an item that I'm able to roll out is Unicorn Project Pan. And for that, you just pick something that was kind of magical, like a unicorn. And I brought in the MAC Hyper Real Glow Highlighter Palette. And there's three shades here, Fla uh, Flash and Awe, which is this one here, Rosy Glow. And this dark one here is Life of the Party. I'm so happy that this is looking used, you know, like that's kind of awesome. So the goal from that I set for this was to use it 20 times, which I did. I have really enjoyed just like mixing all the shades together in here. I think it depends on the time of year that I'm using this. So there are Flash and Awe, a Rosy Glow, and Life of the Party, and then there they are mixed together and that's how I really enjoyed using this. Sorry, my arm swatching mojo is not going very well. But anyway, yeah, I can roll this out. Very excited. And I did really enjoy wearing this palette a lot. I really enjoyed it. So those are the six items that I am able to roll out of this project. So that means I am left with 17. I'm left with 17 prompts. Okay, let me go through the items I'm still working on there. I think there are two that I haven't yet touched. And that's really because they're more spring summer items, like in terms of the way they smell. So I'll focus more on those in the start working on them in the springtime. Milo is still on the bed. Hey, what are you doing? He looks sleepy. The first project prompt is 12 Days of Christmas, and you picked a line from that song, 12 Days of Christmas, and you associated a product with the line. So I chose three French hens, and therefore I chose a French product. And this is the Caudalie Overnight Detox Oil. So it's this one here. I have, I mean, my original line is still marked, but I have, every time I mark this, it disappears. But I'm about, what, halfway to finishing this from where I started. And I did take the tip of, and I can't remember who it was, I'm sorry. But I did tape this portion of the dropper because it was flaking. And that's worked out really, really well. Thank you for the tip. So anyway, yeah, I am about halfway to my goal. Which, let's see. August, September, October, November. This is the fourth month. August, September, October, November. Yeah. So yeah, I shouldn't have a problem finishing this because we are not halfway through the project yet. So yeah, I'm working my way through that. The next project prompt is Beauty A to Z. So you just pick a letter of the alphabet and associate a product with it. I chose the letter N and brought in the Neutrogena Lip Moisturizer. And it's this one here. So I did finally start using this last month and I, made really great progress last month. Like I think I used over half of it, which you'll probably be able to see in the picture that I put up, but I need to look at my book cause I can't remember. Yeah, uh, probably about half of what I had left because I think I'd used, started using it right at the end of the last update. And I did take this with me to Hawaii. This is about five weeks of use since I filmed that video, my last update. So I don't know that I'll have this finished by next update but I definitely will have it done in like two months. 
because I wore this a lot more whenever I was on my trip. It was kind of in my beach bag and I would wear it anytime. I just needed to moisturize my lips while I was away. So I don't think I would use it that frequently next month, but you never know. So anyway, we are uh, halfway there, over halfway there. The next project prompt is birthstone beauty. And for this, you picked a birthstone and I didn't pick mine. I ended up going with Sapphire and associated product with that birthstone. So for Sapphire, I went with the Laneige water sleeping mask. So it's this little deluxe size sample and I have used this, but you can't really tell. I scraped kind of what was in the lid. So I have used this. I mean, this was full whenever I brought it in, but yeah, I've used it probably about three times. I really do like the sleeping mask. A lot more than the one from Glow Recipe. The next project prompt is budget beauty. So for this prompt, you just picked a item that's, you know, on the lower end of the spectrum in terms of cost. And so for that, I brought in the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade Stay Exceptional. So it's this one here. My goal is to use a quarter of what's in here. And I don't, I had was able to make a teeny tiny line. There's still a ton of product in here. And I am over halfway to my goal, between half and a third I have left of what I need to use in this. This is really pretty. Here's the shade. I really love the shade and I really do enjoy this formula. Next project prompt is Cupid's Bow. And for that project, you were to pick something that you could relate to Valentine's Day. So I chose the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in Sex on Fire. And here's the blush. And I'm also like with like kind of what I was saying with the MAC palette. I'm happy this one. It looks like I'm using it, which is awesome. My goal is to use this 30 times. And so far I've used it 15. I've used it 15 times so far. And this is just a really beautiful blush. I love this. So halfway there, I have 15 uses to go. The next project prompt is Harry Potter. And for that, you had how the different houses you could choose from, and then you just associated it to that house, the product to that house. Could be color, it could be the name. That'd be really hard, but anyway, you know what I mean. So I went with Gryffindor and I chose the Lulu Lun Precious Red Sheet Masks. So they come in this box and there's like 30 masks in here, I believe. So I don't think I've used this very much in the last month. I don't, there's not a good way to like show you like my progress, but I don't, I may have used it once or twice. I need to kind of get cracking on these. The next project prompt is in the panning zone. So for this project, there was a, I think it was a rolling project where they would go by picking items for all the different episodes of the Twilight Zone. So you could just pick a an episode in the description for that. So I chose the episode, the 16 millimeter shrine, and that was a deluxe size item. So I went with the YSL Mon Paris perfume. I have a deluxe size sample. I don't have the original jar that it came in because now everything is in this atomizer. I just actually filled it up today with what is left of the perfume. So I'm hopeful I can have this done by the next update because this is really the only like perfect full size, not even full size, but deluxe size or full size perfume I'm using right now other than samples. And I really want to work this out. So this is hopefully going to be an empty next month. Did I? I did spray, but we're going to spray one more. <laughs> the next project prompt is lip service. And I went with, I typically do high, higher, like mid range to high end lip products in that project. And I want to use a quarter of what's in the bullet but I decided to go with something that was more on the lower end of the spectrum in terms of cost. So I brought in the ColourPop Creme Lippy Stick in Last Call. My goal is to use half of what's in here. And this is, oh, there's a cat here. 
This is how much is left. Now, I didn't have a ton of usage on this because this is a more of a spring summer shade, but I did make some like progress. So you can see in the picture that I put up, I made some prog progress, but that's what this one looks like. It's a nice formula, nice shade. It's just really, it's great for lightening up this time of year, but I haven't really had to do that recently. Next prompt is Mean Girl Quotes, and I chose the quote, I saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and flip-flops, so I bought army pants and flip-flops. And you were supposed to bring in something that you bought because of someone else. So I brought in for Kathleen Lights, she made me buy this, the um, J-Cat Beauty Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse in Champagne Whiz. So it is this item here, and my goal is to use this 20 times. So far I've used it seven. This is really pretty. So gorgeous. I've just been really working on my Tarte Chrome Paint and Frosé. I don't have it on today, but that's what I've been really focusing my energy on when it comes to tones sort of like this or products sort of like this. If I can use that, I'm going to use it because I want to hit pan on it before the end of the year. <laughs> okay, the next prompt is panning games. And this was based on the Hunger Games. So you could um, select based on the number of tributes. I think it's 26. I can't remember now. When that project originally started, we like had a bag of things and like just pulled things out like really quickly as like as tributes to the project. And I think I, I think I did it like on the, on my phone or something, random number generator or something like that. But anyway, or I had picked items and then I assigned numbers to them and then I did a random number generator. Anyway, so I did something similar where I went to my lip product list and I did random number on or I randomly selected an item from that list. So my tribute for this prompt is the Pat McGrath Labs Matte Trance Lipstick in Venus and Furs. So it's this one here. I am wearing this today along with that Flower Beauty Spiced Petal that I was able to roll out. So that was my last use on that. But this is really pretty and I really do like this combo. In fact, I bet you this with that ColourPop lippy would be really pretty. Let's see what that looks like. I mean, this is a great shade, but if you don't want a super bold lip, I think lightening it up with an item like this would work really well. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this. Wow. So there it is on its own and there it is mixed. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I'm going to have to try that. My goal on this is to finish it. Now, I did make some progress on it, but there's still a crap ton in here. I said, I was like, I'm gonna pick a lip product, try to finish it. I mean, that's a really beautiful combo. The next project prompt is Panning Solitaire, and that was the Pan That Palette theme from last year in the Fantastic Ladies. So I brought in the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Luxury Palette in Luxury Palette and Pillow Talk. So it's this one here. The goal for that project was to like hit pan first in a single and then a duo and then a trio, not hit pan finish. Or maybe it was to pan. I can't remember now. Anyway, here is my uh, it was to finish. I'm a dodo. It's to finish. So here's what this is looking like. And I don't know that I've used this a ton since the last update. It did go with me on my trip. So there is some usage from whenever I was traveling. But I think like this shade and <laughs> I think these two mattes are probably going to be the first to go prior to the shimmers on this side. Like this one looks a little sealed over. I may have to get some tape. That's what that one looks like. Yeah, I think I need to get some tape to it. We'll just scrape it off. It's more of a, 
sparkle and yeah that's a little bit better so I scraped I scraped that top layer off just a bit it's super emollient so you can like I mean even if I even after scraping it up I was able to press it back in there yeah that's much better anyway I am working my way through this like I think again the mats are probably gonna be the first to go but we'll see how that goes the next project prompt is rockin' around the Christmas tree. And for that, we chose a Christmas song and associated a product to the Christmas song itself. I don't listen to a lot of Christmas songs, but one of my favorites is by Wham and it is Last Christmas. So I chose the MAC pigment in the shade Kitchmas. I could have assigned this to like any Christmas song. Anyway, this is really pretty. My goal is to use this 20 times. So far I've used it nine. So I still have a ways to go, but I've really been enjoying this with purple looks on the inner corner a lot. It's super brightening. I just, I think it's so pretty. So that's how I've been using it most of the time. And I'll put it in the inner corner and then like work it up just a little bit. So it's like, bam, I really do like that. Next project prompt is significant other project pan. And so for that, I had my friend Valerie pick an item for me and she chose the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. So it's this full size jar. And I originally was going to try to finish this, but after using it a month I was like well I didn't really use that much of it and so I changed my goal to use four grams kind of based on my usage from the first month to see you know how much I used I kind of calculated it out for a 12 month span and so my goal is to use four grams is that right four grams so last month I was, at, I weigh this item and last month I was at 102.7 grams and this month I'm at 101.8. So I almost used an entire gram of product last month, which is very unusual because previously I'd been using like 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 grams. Now I did like take this apart and take it with me on like take a little bit with me on my trip to Hawaii but I pretty much used everything that I had decanted into a smaller container so it's not like I wasted that much and then here's the other thing about this there is not that much product left in here at least it doesn't look you see my lines down it does not look like there's that much in here so I think when I originally brought this in, I thought that I hadn't touched it, but I don't think that's the case. I may have like decanted some of this previously when I was traveling. I just can't remember. So I don't know. We'll see. Like, I think my goal is still to use four grams, but I'm going to mark this and just see what next month looks like. Like if I make a pretty decent amount of progress, I may still keep it in here to finish. So, okay, I've marked it. So we'll see what next month looks like. But I did use 0.9 grams last month. So I'm currently at a total usage of 2.1 grams. So I'm about halfway there. Okay, the next project prompt is skin is in. So for that, you choose a skincare item. So I brought in the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. And I forgot to mark this. Hold, please. So I made really great progress on this. As you can see, there is my line. Now, I think the last month I didn't, wasn't able to make a new line at all. And I think that is probably the reason why we're seeing so much usage from last. I think there was usage. I just wasn't really able to capture it or there wasn't enough to make a new line. Anyway, that's where I am now. So, you know, we're, we're doing pretty well. I may, it may take me several more months to finish this, but I do enjoy it. It's a lightweight exfoliating mask. And the last project prompt is for the four seasons. And that's a project where you have assigned three items per the four seasons for each of the four seasons. And I chose the season spring. That's a little hard to say. So for that, I brought in the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer. It's a mouthful. <laughs> and my goal is to finish this. Now I am pretty close. That is all that's left in here. I should have this done by the next update. 
there, I mean, I'm thinking like maybe a week I'll have this finished. So yeah, super excited about that. This is almost done. This is a nice moisturizer. It's not a moisturizer that I have to have. If I see it half off or something like that, I may pick it up because it's a good daytime moisturizer, but it's not a holy grail. So yeah, but I'm almost done with it. So that's exciting. So that is everything for this project. Oh gosh, so many prompts. And Milo left. When did that happen? So anyway, that is everything. I'm trying to think of what I can potentially have finished by the next update. And I'll have this finished, the Peter Thomas Roth. I don't think I'll have the Neutrogena Lip Moisturizer finished, but I may surprise myself with that. And I think that may be it. Oh, the perfume. I'll have that finished for sure. So those are the three things that I think I may be able to roll out next month. We'll see how it goes. So anyway, that is my update for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs> Idea behind it was, so, so Jessica created a, mm, prior to today's update, I had finished my usage or 100% finished, no. I contoured my nose today. Can you tell? Hmm. So the first project prompt for the item, mm -mm. but the first project prompt is 12 days of Christ Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and for that project, you picked a, actually, I think they were doing a rolling project, like a roulette, like a rolling Rolling roulette rolling. Next prompt is Mean Girl Quotes. And I chose the quote, I saw Katie Heron wearing Ami. Next prompt. The next project prompt is Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. And uh, that's where you chose a Christmas song and then um, assigned a product to. The next project prompt is the, no. The next project prompt is rocking around the Christmas tree. Not rocking. So for that, I brought in the Peter Thomas raw, raw. Oh. So for that, I brought in, brought in. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> Bye. Milo isn't feeling very well because he's got a stomach thing. He had pancreatitis several years ago. And so I'm sorry. Now, like every six weeks or so, month to six weeks, I have to give him a nausea pill. Otherwise he gets kind of, his tummy gets upset. And so his tummy's a little upset now, but he seems to be doing good. I gave, his, I gave him his pill today. He's gotten really good about the pills. Oh my God. Play. Fine. I'll give it to the other cats. Come here. It's like, no. He's so cute. All oh, my babies are cute. You see Ziggy <laughs> over there? He's just staring. Milo's one of those cats who would like 
grab something and then throw it in the air. He's so floofy. I think he's feeling better. Ziggy! Milo! <laughs> I know, right, Ziggy? that backfired why can't I do that 